Have you ever said this? OMG, my Facebook profile just got hacked. Want to know how to hack a Facebook page? Stay tuned. This episode of Tech Shop is brought to you by Total Tech Resource Corporation. TTR offers IT solutions, hosted infrastructure, and solutions development. Visit TotalTechResource.com. TTR, we are IT. Welcome to episode 6 of Tech Shop. I, of course, am Paul Bauer, a.k.a. Twitter.com slash Pablo. In this episode, I'm going to show you a free tool that plugs into Firefox that allows you to hijack someone's Facebook or Twitter session. Hell, you can hijack just about anybody's session from any website. Super hackability! Not only will I show you how this tool works to hack people's Facebook and other social media accounts, I'm going to show you how to protect yourself and how to even hack the hackers. First up, let's talk about session hijacking, or as they call it in the scene, sidejacking. Basically, sidejacking is one of its hacker sniffs the network for traffic, then steals a session cookie off the wire, then they take that same session cookie and use it to authenticate themselves uh, with a particular website as the victim. Sounds simple, right? Well, it actually is. A man by the name of Eric Butler developed a plugin for Firefox called Firesheet that makes sidejacking so easy, even a caveman can do it. And everywhere I go, there's always something to... Firesheet adds a sidebar to Firefox, and all someone has to do to capture your Facebook session is to click the easy Start Capture button. That was easy. Here are some things to consider for sidejacking protection. Sidejacking requires the attacker to be on the same subnet as you. And sidejacking does not work over SSL encrypted sites like banks and e-commerce. More on that in a minute. So where do you risk being sidejacked? How about any place where there's public Wi-Fi internet? Airports, coffee shops, and hotels are all possible places to have your sessions hijacked. Once your session has been hijacked, an attacker can post anything they want as you, or even go into your account settings and change your password, locking you out of your account. So how do you protect yourself? It's actually pretty easy. Enable SSL by default on all of your important social networking sites and email sites. For Facebook, go to Account, Account Settings, scroll down to Account Security, click Change, then make sure the checkbox that says Browse Facebook on a secure connection, HTTPS, whenever possible, is checked then click save. For Twitter, go to your settings, scroll down to the bottom, and check the box that says always use HTTPS, and then click save. Now that you're protected, perhaps you want to find out if someone's trying to sidejack people in your favorite coffee shop. With a little beauty that's also a Firefox add-in called Black Sheep, you can now hack the hacker. Black Sheep actively drops fake session ID information on the network using the same settings as Firesheep and monitors those fake sessions. If someone using Firesheep on the network hijacks one of the fake sessions, a pop-up will appear from Black Sheep giving the IP address of the attacker. Then the fun can begin. Game's over. Last chance to get out of this without a prison sentence. You're not good enough to beat me. This concludes this episode of Tech Shop. I hope I was able to give you some information that will make your Facebooking and Twittering a little more secure and safe. Check back next time for your prescribed dose of Tech Shop. Basically, session hijacking, or sorry, basically, sidejacking is when an attacker, when an attacker sniffs the network for traffic. Basically, sidejacking is when an attacker sniffs the, the, 
basically sidejacking is when an attacker sniffs the network. They take that session cookie and use it to authenticate themselves as the user to whatever. Like, oh, fuck, dude, that was almost that was good.